Hey guys, welcome to Founder Stop. Today we're going to walk through a typical fundraising timeline, answer some of the questions that founders typically have, and demystify some of the processes regarding the fundraising process that founders typically go through. A typical fundraising timeline typically comprises of five different stages. First, the term sheet. Second, due diligence. Third, the preparation of transaction documents. Fourth, signing. And finally, completion. Moving on to the first stage, the term sheet. The term sheet typically sets out the key terms between the investors and the founders. Whilst the term sheet is not legally binding, we would encourage founders to understand what they're signing before they actually sign it because if you change your mind, it could be difficult to change the terms. Whilst a term sheet is not seen in every single transaction, we typically see a term sheet used in transactions ranging from a million dollars and above. So if you see any term within the term sheet that you don't understand, it's time to call a lawyer. It's time to call your friend. <laughs> Moving on to due diligence. What is due diligence? Well, it typically comprises of the investor's legal counsel asking you a couple of questions about your company. If your company is pretty young, they will ask you for basic things like constitution or your archive as well. But if you're a bit more mature, let's say two to three years old, they might ask you for key contracts that you've entered into, whether you have any litigation proceedings and maybe a copy of your employment agreements. The results of your due diligence will be reflected in the transaction documents. So say for example, the company has not entered into formal employment agreements with your employees, then that would likely be reflected in the transaction document as a condition precedent to completion. Next up, we'll be looking at the preparation of transaction documents. Well, the color of your transaction documents will depend on the terms of your transaction. And if you're raising equity, then you'll be looking at issuing new shares through a share subscription agreement, transferring existing shares through a share purchase agreement, and in both instances, you'd be likely looking at the shareholders agreement. If you're raising debt, on the other hand, you'll be looking at a convertible loan agreement, i.e. a loan agreement that can be converted into shares in future, or a loan agreement itself. There is a third instrument that has become really popular for raises below 2 million, and that is called the SAVE. It's the simple agreement for future equity that has been popularized by Y Combinator. So these will be the different types of transaction documents that you'll likely face in your fundraising timeline. Well, if all goes well, we'll be looking at the signing of transaction documents. These documents will typically contain a set of statements called representations and warranties. And if you think or feel that any of these statements are not correct, remember to disclose them. Why? Because you could be sued for misrepresentation if you give a statement that is not correct. Well, signing is not when the money gets wired in. Between signing and completion, there's typically something called conditions precedent which you will have to fulfill. These conditions could range from the implementation of an ESOP, the entry into formal employment agreements with your employees, or entering into IP assignment deeds to assign the IP to the company. Finally, we get to completion. That's when the money gets wired in. In equity transactions, that's when shares are being issued or shares are being transferred. And for loan transactions or debt transactions, that's when the money gets wired through. That's when people pop champagnes and start buying their Ferraris. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Popping champagnes, yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like and share. And if there are any topics you'd like us to cover, please comment below or drop me a DM. See you soon.